Monday through Friday uh, from at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm uh, giving you the latest picks, all these live free picks here from our pick dog crew. And let's take a look at our crew tonight, uh, who we have. Uh, we've got uh, Jeff Jeter on board tonight. We've got Rod Zawacki, Center Square. will be Joe Duffy to lead us off. My co-host today will be Chris Ruffalo. Goran will look at some EPL. And, of course, we've got Brian Bittler still sitting number one in college football. Brian, over 1,000 units. Yeah, I'm all excited for – you know, I got a smaller card tomorrow, but it's a quality card tomorrow. Yeah, it's a quality card, but he's coming in with college football tonight, so stay tuned for Brian Bittler's same. So let's welcome in Chris. Chris, are uh, you getting wired up, ready to go? <laughs> right, we, I guess we had you fine, but we lost your sound there, my man. We don't got your sound. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. No, I was, now you're good. I'm getting a little, a little bit uncomfortable, but then we, we just had to get everything fixed. I decided to knock a few wires around. You know me, Tony. I like to fly by the seat of my pants it's like a parachute so i like to absolutely come in in. Off all right let's parachute in right now joe duffy will find him over at pig dogs premium joe how you doing today we're doing pretty good and a huge weekend is ahead so i'm very excited about this weekend yeah huge weekend of course uh college football regular season our last weekend a big card action of course uh, next week uh, we get into the conference championship there'll be some scattered games from the conferences uh, but joe uh, tonight you're looking at a rivalry game from college uh uh, basketball as we've got uh, the Iowa schools getting uh, together Iowa and Iowa State uh, this one at 9 p.m. Eastern time over on Big Ten Network Iowa laid about uh, 12 and a half total sits at 158. Yeah Iowa State they're just a very bad team they've got nobody to match up against Luca Garza who is of course probably the best player in the country certainly the best big man uh, they don't really have any athletes Jalen Coleman lands is really the only decent athlete on Iowa State but of course he's 6'4 so he's not going to help guarding Garza at all and it's not like the game plan for Iowa is going to be just simply to throw it inside and exploit that mismatches. Because even if hypothetically Iowa State comes up with a good game plan and they're able to double him and say, let the rest of the team uh, beat us, well, the rest of the team can beat them. Uh, Iowa is a very fast team. Iowa State just does not have the speed to match up with them. Uh, this is a team that was trailing at halftime, the Arkansas P Pine Bluff. Um, Arkansas Pine Bluff, they are ranked 350 out of 357 Division I teams by Ken Palm. I think we could get together a team and be pretty competitive with them. You know, I think Tony T and I, we set up a couple of screens for Chris Ruffalo. We could possibly beat Arkansas <laughs> Pine Bluff. And then Iowa State, they did pull away, granted, in the second half, but still they were down at halftime. Meanwhile, and by the way, they are beaten the other night by a South Dakota State team that's pretty average at best. They take on an Iowa team that's outscoring their foes by 27.8 points per game. Now, true, they did beat up on a couple weaker opponents, better than Arkansas Pine Bluff, by the way. But their smallest margin of victory all year was by 13 to North Carolina. That's tonight's spread, or as you said, 12 and a half. So that's a little bit more than tonight's spread. Uh, Iowa State, they have no true point guard. They lost their guard from last year, Halliburton. They didn't really replace his scoring. Uh, this is supposed to be a high-scoring game, and as I said, Iowa can beat them if they slow it down and pound it inside. They can beat them if they run in Garza. That's why he's the best big man in the country. He can also stay in the running game. And, Tony T., you mentioned this is a rivalry game. That's one of the bigger myths. I hear all the time, oh, you got to take a double-digit dog in a rivalry game. That is absolute poppycock. I did a study in this in college football, not so much college basketball, but anecdotally also in college basketball. Find out if anything, it's just the opposite. When you have a mismatch, the better team stays focused when it's a rivalry game, not to mention usually they have no compunction to run up the score because, look, if they're coming down to a recruit who's considering the two rivalry schools, nothing better than saying, look, we crushed them last year by 30 and 25 points. Do you really want to go to them? Don't you want to play for us? We're a much better team. So that's a big rivalry myth. So uh, Iowa minus the number W marks the center square. All right, uh, Joe Duffy doing his due diligence here. You tell him rivalry game. He's going to look up the data to, val to validate those uh, myths out there. Uh, Chris, what say you in this one? Well, first, I want to say for Arkansas, Pine Bluff, it says something that you have the two lightest guys on this three-man panel that are setting the screen for the heaviest guys, even, even though I was a shooter back in my day. But that's besides the point. I, I can't disagree with anything that Joe just said. I'm on Iowa as well. Iowa State just did not do anything to replace Halliburton. You got a deep Iowa team. This is—I think this game's going to get ugly. This, this, this is a game that actually 
for a quote unquote rivalry game, this is a game that could be over by halftime. I like Iowa Lane in the points as well. All right, all agreement here with Iowa Lane in the points here against uh, Iowa State. All right, Joey, let us off your big weekend of action college football, NFL, college hoops. What you got going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Uh, we got a big weekend. By the way, look, I did my scouting on Chris. I know that if you give him a good look from 17 feet, he is deadly. But tomorrow, there's nothing tonight. All our games are underway. We like the we like the early stuff. But Big Ten, total of the year. CBS, total of the year is among five wise guy plays. That's our highest rate of play for tomorrow. A couple of the plays that we had planned for both tonight and tomorrow were postponed. But as of now, as of this second uh, showtime, all five wise guy plays are scheduled to kick off tomorrow, including Two name plays, so get Joe Duffy's picks over at Pick Dogs. All right, guys, check Joe Duffy out over at Pick Dogs Premium. One of those long-term passes, you want to check him out for the weekend, a three-day pass. We'll get you the, the weekend action, throw in that Monday Night Football as well over at Pig Dogs Premium. Get one of those long-term passes from Joe Duffy. All right, Joe, as always, great having you on the show. Continue your winning success, and we'll talk with you next week. I was going to say, the only, better, the, only better, the only better look I'll get from 17 feet is at a buffet line when I'm standing about 30 yards away. But the, <laughs> but Joe Duffy knows his stuff. Yeah, it certainly does. He knows his stuff. When you're around as long as he have, you better know. You better know your stuff. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go eat myself, Chris. So, uh, but no. No, I'm going to go eat, comma, myself. All right. Now we have a good dinner. We'll talk with you next week, Mr. Joe Duffy. <laughs> Very important there. That's right. That is right. All right. Continue on here on the drive through guys. We take to the top of the hour. And of course, if you missed any of the picks, be sure to stay tuned at the end of the show as we recap the place for you. And of course, we'll also uh, give you an update on the Pick Dogs Handicapper Contest. We just got the numbers in, just updated, working on the graphics right now behind the scenes. And we'll have that ready for you at the end of the show as well. All right. We'll continue on here on the drive through It's uh, time for Chris Ruffalo to step up here and look at this game. I mean, you're looking at the uh, this Milwaukee and Kansas State contest, this one tipping off at 8 p.m. Eastern time. ESPN Plus will televise here. Kansas State up to a 10.5 point favorite from the opener of 8. Total sits here at 131.5. And, and, of course, it looks like we're going to continue to pile on this Kansas State outfit. Yeah. Um, to tell you the truth, I I think everybody's going to know where my, my head is at when I say this. I have no idea why this line has jumped Two and a half points in Kansas State's direction. I mean, you look at you look at what's, ha what's happened with Kansas State. They haven't replaced the guys that they lost last season. Maween, Xavier Sneed. They haven't been able to replace these guys. And you know, when you go out and you know, if you're a smaller school like you know, we just joked about Arkansas Pine Bluff, but I don't think anybody would put it past them to lose to a to a maybe a subdivision school. When you're Kansas State, when you're a power conference team, you have to beat those smaller schools to at least save some face and you're losing to fort hayes state of all teams i don't even know if they're division two II, division three naia you know your local ymca i don't know but you know this kansas state team is in trouble bruce weber is in trouble i don't care if it's a rebuilding year and i don't care if fans know that it's a rebuilding year this team's in trouble milwaukee on the other hand they're not projected to do a whole lot in the horizon league this season but they bring back one of the better players in the horizon league in uh, tijan lucas this is, a, this is a decent team. This is a Milwaukee team that I think is probably going to take a couple steps forward from where they were last year. And all in all, I just think this is a bit of a, a step back for Kansas State just from a game-to-game -game basis. I think it's enough of a step back that you can at least take a shot with Milwaukee on the money line at plus 460. Because if you can lose to Fort Hayes State, you can lose to Milwaukee, even if Milwaukee hasn't taken the four yet this season. So that's where my head's at. I love the points with Milwaukee here. I'm also taking a shot with the money line at Milwaukee at plus 460. Yeah, all agreement here with Milwaukee plus 10.5 as well uh, and the money line in that one. Of course, Milwaukee, a team that was involved in a lot of close games last year, a little bit more experience this year with four starters back. I'm with you there, Chris, on that pick with uh, Milwaukee plus the points. All right, the Chris, uh, uh, what you got going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Oh, it's our favorite time of my, my part of the segment anyways. I'm going to open up the advent calendar. Tell you the truth, I even forgot what I put in here. Or, or, sorry, what, what, what was put in here? before I even got my hands on it. Sorry. I'm trying to not ruin the surprise for anybody. All righty. So let me just pull this up here. You guys are going to get a free premium birdcage for tonight. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull up my, I'm going to pull up my premium picks. I'm going to have that premium birdcage for you guys when we are doing the recap of our, of our picks at the end of the show. But as far as, tonight, as far as my weekend goes, I've got, uh, I've got, you know, my three-day pass, I'm going to have college football, college basketball up there as well. 
Guys, hop one of those three-day passes. You're going to get my NFL in there as well. It's going to be your best value. You know, I, guys, don't miss out on this. Like I said, these are, these are your best savings. We're having our season passes up there. NBA is just around the corner. Guys, let's put some cash in your pocket. Head into the new year on the right note. I'm going to put some cash in your pocket and pick out some winners. Get some cash in your pocket, guys. Pick up one of those long-term passes from Chris Ruffalo. You'll find them over at Pick Dogs Premium. That 30-day all-sports pass will get you all of Chris's plays from the sports and handicaps. That would be college football, college basketball, the NFL. The NBA will be in play as we're just about 11 days away. The preseason starts tonight. If you can believe this, will be a nationally televised game late tonight from the NBA on ESPN. So, guys, the NBA preseason is in here. Keep an eye on them. Uh, start taking notes on some of these uh, new players in the league. And a good time to pick up one of those long-term passes from Chris Ruffalo over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, we'll continue on here with Chris. Reminder, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Free Picks Every Day. You got the live show here uh, from Mitch to start it off at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, the drive through at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. You got the halftime picks show with Mitch. And, of course, uh, ask anything to Mitch. Uh, he'll do some of those uh, impromptu shows. Uh, so be sure to set those notifications. Of course, of course, Chris, give them that a thumbs up, that like, that helps us out. Guys, it doesn't cost you a cent. It helps us out a ton. It allows us to be able to do, you know, all the stuff that we do, all our live shows. You know, it helps with our with our videos. You know, it helps build up our fan base. When we can build up that base, we can give it back to you guys as well. So, you know, like we've got a few people say it during the week. We say it every day. Just smash the like button. Again, it takes you a second. You're already here. Got to scroll down, smash it, and come back up and keep watching our, our quality content. Yeah, we appreciate that very much. All right, continue here on the drive through. Lots of picks coming up, guys, from all the primetime action. We got a college football pick in and a lot of college troops, so let's continue on. And welcome to the show, Rod Zawacki. You'll find him, of course, uh, on the morning show with Mitch and company. And uh, of course, we got a big weekend show tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We've got him here on the drive through. Rod, how you doing tonight? Uh, doing good, Tony. Doing good. Happy Friday to everybody. Happy Steak Friday, everybody out there. You know what will be in uh, Rod's play tonight, right? There you go. You bet. Steak Friday. <laughs> it is Steak Friday. And uh, Rod, you'll be taking a look here at this Murray State and Southern Illinois game. Uh, Murray laying six and a half, total about 135 and a half. Um, both teams coming in here. Uh, both teams definitely have been scoring the ball like crazy. Uh, SIU is... Um, Averaging 94 points a game. Uh, Murray State's averaging 99 points a game. Uh, I, it, it, it floors me that this number is so low. Uh, why is this number so low? I look at the defense. SIU's defense is averaging. They're giving up 70 points a game. Murray's defense giving up 73 points a game. That still gets us over this number. Uh, SIU's last six games uh, have went over the total. Uh the last six games between these two, five times it's went over. Um, both these teams are not playing very good defense at all, if they're playing any defense at all. Um, take this game over the number. It's going to fly over the number uh, as we're just going to see no defense being played. Both teams fast paced, back and forth, back and forth, lots of scoring. Easy over here. Take all right, this game Rod, over the number. Rod Zouak says take it over the number. Uh, Chris, what say you in this one between Murray State and Southern Illinois? 7.30 p.m. Eastern time start in this one, ESPN3 on TV. No, I'm, I'm with Rod on this one. You know, I like uh, I like what Murray State's been able to do ever since they really had that bounce back performance after the uh, loss to Middle Tennessee earlier this season. You come back and you smash the daylights. Have a pretty good Austin P team in, you know, Southern Illinois. No slouch in the Missouri Valley as well. I, I like the over 135 and a half here as well. All right, all agreement here on the, the, the over in this one from Rod Zawacki over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Rod, big weekend coming up of action. We've got uh, college football, NFL, some college hoops mixed in there. What you got going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Uh, I got going. I uh, started this uh, for Steak Friday. So your best bet is to grab yourself a three-day pass. Um, uh, last two college Saturdays, I'm 13-3. On Saturdays, uh, grab yourself a three-day pass. You'll get – I have two plays left tonight you'll be able to pick up that will come up. Uh, or I have the one play available. I got a college football bailout game. Uh, but it, your best bet is get something long-term. Get a three-day to get you through this weekend. I've got uh, I have a couple plays for you Friday, tonight, and then tomorrow, Saturday. We'll have a line up on Sunday. Uh, that's your best value there. Grab a three-day pass, get you right through the weekend, and, and I'll make you some money. 
All right, you weekend warriors out there, get that three-day pass from Ron Zawacki over at Pig Dogs Premium. Get all this football coverage here for this weekend. Of course, there'll be some college football, NFL, and college basketball for you from Ron Zawacki at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Ron, as always, a great having you on your show. Have yourself a great night. I know you guys are going to keep busy with that contest over at Sports Chat as well as Pig Dogs, and uh, we will talk with you next week. You bet. You guys have yourself a wonderful weekend. Have a great steak Friday. Have a great steak Friday you too as well. Rod Zwacka here on the drive through All right, we'll continue on uh, with our coverage. We're going to take a look at a college football game uh, from the Pac-12. And who better to cover uh, college football, uh, Chris, than the number one capper over at Pig Dogs Premium? And that's Brian Bittler. Brian, how you doing? Oh, I'm ready to just uh, sweep the board uh, tomorrow. I, I really love the Saturday card. But uh, I guess we're here to talk about Friday action. I got to continue my run. This is the last week of the regular season. I want to end it in first place. That's right. Of course, next weekend will be championship weekend, uh, but we're a uh, regular season weekend here. And there'll be a scattering of games. I know the Pac-12 will have some uh, games as well uh, next week. They're actually to be determined, so we'll see how they set the schedule. But we're going to look at this rivalry game here, Arizona State at Arizona. Uh, the, the Sun Devils are favored to about nine in some places. Uh, total sits here at 50, 56 and a half. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried that this line has dropped from where I bet it this morning at 11 and a half. That's always a cause of concern. But if you look at the numbers, uh, you know, this is a revenge game for Arizona State. They lost to Arizona last year. Arizona, Arizona is also 2-9 and nine against the spread the last uh, 11 games uh, against Pac-12 opponents. Also 1-9 and nine against the spread following a straight-up loss. Uh, so for me, uh, like Joe Duffy talked about earlier, in rivalry games, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, you know, it's a rival game. I'm going to lay these points here because I really think – Arizona State wants to make a statement, get their first win of the season, and just crush air, the Wildcats tonight. All right, Brian says go ahead and take Arizona State. Now, this one's now at nine, so do your shop and you'll find nine in most places. So, uh, and actually, we're seeing eight and a half in a couple of books right now. So, uh, shop, 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 get the best number from this one. It, it tips, it, it kicks off top of the hour on ESPN. Uh, so, check it out over there on television of course make that plate when you make that bet look for the best number right chris what say you here on this arizona state arizona game yeah i'm, I'm leaning in the same direction just because i think arizona's defense uh gives me some cause of concern against a pretty good arizona state backfield and you know quarterback daniels and, and the running backs there as well uh, i'm with brian on this one i like arizona state laying the 10 or 9 right. depending on where you get it yeah, shop that number, looking at uh, possibly a nine there uh, uh, on this one with Arizona and Arizona State. All right, Brian, we know your number one college football document over at Pig Dogs Premium. What you got going on for this weekend? Well, tonight, later on tonight, I got my Friday night college football uh, no limit bet. And if you don't want to get in tonight on the game, you can get my Saturday early blank check college football. Really love it. Get those two picks over at PickDogs.com for $30 each. Or like uh, Rod had talked about earlier, the best deal, three-day pass. Uh, get all three days. You're going to get Saturday, Sunday, and Monday action. So best bang for your buck. Pick up a long-term pass. Those long-term pass. Clean out that bookie's pocket right here with Brian Biller. You see the numbers, nearly 1,000 units of profit to college football document. I think past seven days, it's over, over 1,000 units as well. So Brian right now hot. Well, we, we've been talking about this all season long. We're getting right in the teeth of the season here. We got the final regular season. Next week, it's championship weekend. You want to get on board here with the number one documented cap around the site. That's Brian Bittler. Good time to pick up one of those 30-day all-sports passes. He'll cover you for college football. Of course, we get into the bowl season, so the bowls will be in play. Or all the major bowls will be in play when we get that 30-day pass. Of course, NBA will start in 11 days, so get on board here with Brian Bittler over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Brian, as always, uh, great having you on your show. Have yourself there a great night, and we'll talk with you next week, Monday. Well, I'm going to see Chris tomorrow morning, but I will see you on Monday, Tony. So have a good weekend. That's right. Have a good weekend. Don't forget, you can find Brian Bittler and, of course, company over there on the morning show, 10 a.m. Eastern time, Ron Romanelli, Ron Zawacki. We got Brian Bittler, Chris Ruffalo, Mitch there on the morning show to get you started, 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's the show to check out tomorrow morning. All right, continue here on the drive through uh, We're going to welcome our, our buddy Jeff Jeter to the show. Let's see if we can, we can uh, bring in Jeff. Uh, we'll find him right here. Jeff, how are you doing tonight? Uh, doing well, Tony. Ready for a big weekend. Yeah, big weekend. Uh, uh, exactly. Uh, you're going to be looking here at this Metro Atlantic game starting off top of the hour on ESPNU. It's Iona and Fairfield here with Iona laying four. Uh, total sits about 133. 
Yeah, I'm looking at uh, on the Iona side, you know, they're one and two on the season as well as one and two ATS. And, you know, that one win came against Hofstra at 82-74. And they did, in fact, cover that game. But, uh, you know, looking at Iona, I mean, it, it's been kind of wishy-washy with them so far as they've kind of gotten along. But one thing I did notice is they're very good at blocking shots. I mean, you know, they're 18th in the in Division One right now. Uh, at 5.7, you know, blocks per game. And so, but keep in mind, along with that, you know, comes 25 personal fouls a game. So they're hitting a double bonus pretty quickly in some other games. But, uh, you know, the one thing I did notice was that, you know, especially against Hofstra, they, they did have seven blocks against Hofstra in that win. Four of them came from forward to uh, Nella Jr. Joseph. But, of course, he did foul out by the end of this game. But, uh, you know, Keep in mind with Iona, senior Isaiah Ross is, you know, leading the way for him. He was averaging 22 points on the, uh, you know, per game on the season and did have 33 in that one against Hofstra. Now, with Fairfield on the other side, you know, they're 0-4 and 1-3 and ATS. You know, the problem with them is, like, you know, they're, they're averaging 60 points a game, but the shooting has been a big factor into that number. I mean, they've not really done so well from the floor. They're only 39.2% overall and 26.1% from Three, three point range. So, you know, but I mean, I will say, you know, with Fairfield, you know, they're, they're defensively, they're, they've been fine in the, in the first half. I mean, they're, they're only allowing about 30 points, but, you know, where we've seen, you know, Fairfield get behind us is, is they, they seem to be fatigued here in the second half. They're allowing 43 points in the second half right now. And, you know, I think it's got a little bit of contributing factor here to some of the, you know, the 0-4, 1-3 ATS. But, uh, you know, and overall, both teams are, are in bottom half in possessions per game. And so it just tells me that, you know, I'm looking at the under in this game. I think it's going to be a deliberate pace. Seeing a little bit going more towards the over. But I still think this is going to be, you know, a deliberate pace game that, you know, we'll see just go under the total and uh, – a lot of it coming on some poor shooting from Fairfield. So, All right. There you got it there from Jeff. Uh, take Iona and Fairfield under a total of 132 and a half. All right, Chris, what say you in this Metro Atlanta contest? I'll, I'll give Jeff credit. He's a braver man than I am for, for taking a look at this game because this was a hard one for me to call just from both the side and the total. I think this game's going to come down to whether or not uh, you get you know, enough defensive stops on Iona because, like Jeff said, Fairfield doesn't score a lot. It's just a matter of if Iona shows up on the scoreboard or not. Again, personally, it was a no play for me, but I can definitely lean towards the under here based on every, all the points that Jeff made. All right. Uh, they're agreeing with there with the under 132 and a half. Of course, uh, during as we get into January, uh, these games will take uh, – we'll, we'll, probably there will be many handful full of games, uh, Jeff, and we always see the Metro Atlantic uh, scheduled, right, with the Horizon League. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. Yep, absolutely. All right, uh, uh, Jeff, why don't you let everybody know what you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium. we got a big weekend of football coming up. Yeah, big weekend of college football as well as NFL. And, of course, you know, we've got a huge card of uh, college basketball coming tomorrow and a pretty pretty sizable card on Sunday as well. So, you know, right now is the time to get this uh, three-day pass on, on my end. I mean, um, it's just it's the best value you guys could, you, you could have for the entire weekend. And, you know, take a look at those longer passes. But uh, I'll have you a, ba- a good five-pack of uh, college football, maybe a bonus pick in there for you tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here with college basketball tomorrow as well. So plenty going on, NBA about to start up, so don't forget about that. And uh, just so you guys know, just wanted to uh, – off the topic of the of, of pit dogs and everything, just want to let everybody know out there, me and my wife uh, just found out we're uh, – having our second child here coming up in uh, June. So I just want to announce it to you guys right here on the show. And, uh, you know, we're very excited and uh, appreciate you guys for, for inviting me in every Friday here on the show. Oh, congratulations doing your wife, Jeff. I'm sure Chris will have the same. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm Chat excited. Me. Yes, congrats, congrats. Just don't, just, 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 don't de- just don't name him Joe D'Amico. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Joe, but we can't have a 485,000 Joe D'Amico running around for how many people have named their kids after you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. Well, guys, I appreciate it. 
That's right. We get a lot of chime in here from, from the chat room as well, of course, uh, for Jeff Jeter. Congratulations. And uh, don't forget, guys, big weekend of coverage. Why don't you check out Jeff over at Pig Dogs Premium. Pick up one of those long-term passes. He has a three-day or a seven-day. You can get all of his plays. It would be NFL, college football, college basketball. And, of course, if you get that 30-day, then the NBA will be in play as it begins in two weeks. Uh, Jeff, uh, NBA about to start. Getting ready? Yeah, super pumped about it. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how the moves in, in the offseason work for some teams. And so I uh, definitely love uh, the NBA. It's one of my better sports, uh, you know, that I've covered. So definitely ready for it. All right. Very great to hear. All right, Jeff, as always, uh, great to have you on the show. Have yourself a great weekend, and we'll talk with you next week. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Appreciate everything. All right, all right, everybody, Jeff Jeter, a, a new a papa, soon to be here. Congrats again to Jeff Jeter. I will continue on here on the drive through. Uh, well, welcome. We're gonna, our English premier soccer expert here, uh, expert number one. We'll call Chris expert 1A, 1B. We'll see. <laughs> we'll bring in Goran. Goran, how you guys doing? Love the little rivalry between you guys. <laughs> we got to get that mute off. I think you got the mute going there, Goran. We can't hear you. Let's see here. You try that again. Why don't, tell you what. Why don't you sign off and sign back in again, which I think you're already doing because I see the frozen picture here. So I'm sure Goran will go and sign in and sign out uh, here. Of course, uh, let's go back here and uh, uh, we're looking here at, uh, at Goran to see if we can get him back on here. Just we'll go with some of the comments. Of course, Jeff wants to thank everyone out there in the chat room for, for your for your for your for your uh, comments. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I will say this, honestly, and I'm not just saying that because he was just on the show, Jeff D. Jeter, one of the nicest guys, I think, on the Pick Dog staff. Could not be happier for him. Absolutely. Congrats to Jeff Jeter. That was Absolutely. fantastic news and a great way to end the week. All right, we got a comment here from Chris Smith saying, Harden coming to Philly. I don't know if he's thinking of that or if that's, or if that's official. I haven't seen any official word on that, but that would be something. All right, Gordon, we got you back. How you doing, my man? Yeah. What? We oh, got... Sorry. We don't have your we don't have your sound again. So, you check your mic. We had your mic set up here. We'll see if we can get, we're going to attempt we're going to attempt to get Gorn out. Okay, Gorn, why don't you sign in and sign out and see if you can correct that. We're going to go on to the next segment and we'll come right back to you. Okay? So, uh, so 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 try to correct that if you would. All right, we'll continue on here on the drive through and uh you're sure Go ahead. I was going to say, all I'm saying is he, so he sounds a lot better when he's not bashing Everton. I'll, I, li I like I like this scoring where I don't where I don't get to hear him very much. That's that's possible. That that is. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm totally kidding. I love Goran. I hope I hope we get to we hope to get the audio fixed. I hope we get the audio fixed from Goran. All right, guys, I'll step up here with my pick for tonight. It'll tip off top of the hour. We're going to go back to Metro Atlantic. Now, I said we we I, I look at a lot of these games, handicap a lot of these games for several years because. Metro Atlantic's always on on Fridays. Now the Horizon League, it's always a handful of games. Well, my play is going to be here from Niagara against St. Peter's. I'm going to take the eight and a half with Niagara. Uh, it's, a, it's the opener, conference opener for both teams. Now the Purple Eagles return all five starters from last season. Their top four scorers are back. Last year in conference, the Purple Eagles, Eagles were the number one three-point shooting team, connecting on 40% from beyond the arc, and they committed the least amount of turnovers. So they took care of the basketball. They split their two games with the Peacocks last year, went at home and lost by five at St. Peter's. Now the Peacocks, they lose three stars from last year. Their defensive style means close games. And you know, St. Peter's won a lot of those close one and two possession games. But you know what, if it's a one or two possession game, that covers here. So I'm gonna take Niagara plus the eight and a half. What say you, Chris? Yeah, I'm still a little bit hesitant with Niagara after they got drilled by a Syracuse team that was missing five players because of COVID. But in a conference opener for both teams and the way St. Peter's played close games last year, I think I'm going to lean your way, Tony, with the points in Niagara. I think it, I think you could just come in under that number. I think it could be a six or seven point game. Yeah, that's what I'm counting for. Just a real close two possession game, and I'm in there in the money with Niagara here. Of course, bring that good three point three point shooting team. You won't you won't face those that that zone and that, those long arms from Syracuse. It'll be a little different. The defense here with St. Peter's. All right, guys, you can check Pig Dogs Premium for my three pack for tonight. Of course, I'll have a weekend of football. Also have those long term passes up there, seven day and a third day at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, we'll continue on on the show. We'll effort here to bring on Goran uh, back on the show. We'll see if we, we can we can connect here with Goran, our English premier segment. Uh, let's see if we can get him on right now. He's back on. Let's see. Hopefully we got his sound. Goran, how you doing? Good. Hopefully you can hear me now. 
We can hear you now. Third time was the show, yeah. my friend. All right. I don't All know right. what happened there. I don't know. I don't know if Ed Chris has something to do with that or not, but we'll we'll find out later. It was the, it was the, it was the Everton I bet Chris did something, yeah. Oh, well, maybe so. All right. Uh, I'm going to blame it on Chris. All right. Well, you're going to be looking here, going at, at the English Premier pick here for us. Uh, Manchester United and Manchester City going at it. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably the biggest game of the of the weekend, and I gotta be honest, I don't like Manchester United here. They got a tough opponent. They lost in the Champions League earlier this week. They got knocked out to to the Europa League. Their defense was just terrible. Their offense woke up too 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 late in the game, and it was just overall bad game from them. They couldn't really do anything, and then on top of that, they decide to sell Pogba earlier today because of his manager, and you know the usual stuff. Uh, While well, Manchester City won their game in the Champions League earlier this week, and they even secured their spot in the next stage two or three weeks ago, they're playing well. They're scoring less goals than last season, but uh, their defense is much better than last season, and for that reason. I wouldn't dare take Manchester United here. They have only one win at home this season so far, and I'm going to take Manchester City and over 2.5 here for plus 140. All right, these two, both these bo both two have to hit. Manchester City winning and the over 2.5, and, and your return will be plus 140. All right, uh, Chris, what say you in this matchup? Tony, I hate to disappoint, but I'm 100% I'm with Goran on this one. You know, I... For all our for all our soccer fans in 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 the in the chat and watching this, I haven't seen this much turmoil at United since David Moyes was the manager, and that was that was a gong show at Old Trafford. And yeah, this 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 United team is just a disaster. I think we're gonna see. I don't want to say a bit of a letdown spot because you know this is a the their big rivalry matchup, but you know the team like Goran said just got bounced from the Champions League. They don't have any Champions League playoffs to look forward to. They have to go down to the Europa League. They have to go through that again, and that's not where, you know, this United fan base wants to be. And, you know, I think City's going to take advantage of that. I think they're going to be high on confidence after making it to the next round. And I just think they're going to beat up on United here. So I'm with Gorn on this one. Can't argue that. What I've seen from Manu, especially in that game against Brighton early in the year, it was so terrible. I just saw I just saw this coming. This uh, come, no doubt about that. All right, Goran, uh, big weekend soccer, EPL, and, and European soccer going on. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Yeah, I knew I should have picked Everton and Chelsea game to talk about it here <laughs> with, with Chris. So what? Oh, I went the other way. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I have a I have a three day and seven day pack on the Pig Dogs and uh, one big daily pack for tomorrow coming up soon. And, of course, a lot of free content on Sports Chat Place, as usual. That's right. You can check out the Gorn over at Pig Dogs Premium. Why not pick up one of those long-term passes, get all those European soccer? You know, throw in some World Cup qualifiers if, if, they're, if they're going on, and you'll get a seven-day or 30-day all-sports pass there for him. All right, Gorn, it's always great having your show. Con uh, continued your success over there. We'll, we'll be following you over at Sports Chat Place with your written content. Have yourself a great uh, night. We'll talk with you next week. Thanks, guys. See you next week. All right, everybody, Goran Kukar here on the drive through. All right, we continue on here uh, with the sh with with our show. And don't forget, we're here Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we, we give you picks for the primetime action that begins at the top of the hour. So uh, always make sure you tune into our show. And, of course, everything starts in the morning with Mitch's show uh, in the morning show at, at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow. You'll have Ron Romanelli. You've got Chris Ru Ruffalo. You've got uh, Rod Zawacki, Brian Bittler, Mitch. Be sure to check that out. And, of course, Mitch has his halftime uh, shows during the NFL. All right, uh, let's go ahead and recap the plays from today's show. Uh, we'll go ahead and put those up right now. All right, we'll, we'll start. We got, actually, uh, Jeff Jeter will also join us in this segment. Uh, we had Joe Duffy started us, us off with Iowa minus 12 and a half against Iowa State. Chris Ruffalo was on Milwaukee plus the 10 and a half against uh, Kansas State. Rod Zawacki said Murray State, Southern Illinois, over 135.5. Brian Bittler, Arizona State, Sun Devils. That's now minus 9, minus 8.5 in some places against Arizona. Jeff Jeter, take Iona Fairfield under 132.5. Gorin, Manchester United, Manchester City, over 2.5. And, and Manchester City to win. That return is plus 140. Yours truly on Niagara, plus the 8.5 against St. Peter's. We'll start here with Chris. Other than your pick, which one do you like the best? 
Uh, I, I got to either go with either Joe Duffy's pick of Iowa or Goran's pick of Manchester City and the over two and a half. All right, uh, we're bringing here Jeff Jeter. Jeff, other than your pick, which one here do you like the best? Yeah, definitely like Chris's pick of uh, Milwaukee plus ten and a half there against uh, Kansas State tonight. I think uh, I might even throw a little bit in on that money line too. It looks like a uh, pretty pretty decent bet there. So <laughs> love it. Yep, I'm with uh, I'm with Jeff here. I think Chris is I like Chris has played the best there. Milwaukee plus ten and a half against Kansas State. All right, uh, Jeff, you have yourself a great weekend. And now it's time to review the uh, leaderboards from the Pig Dogs uh, contest, Capper contest. And uh, let's take a look at this here. We got the first place here with James Clark, twenty one twenty four. Joseph Peru fell down to, uh, to eleven forty. Tiger Smith at nine twenty. But uh, boy, big big jump here for James Clark. What was this a money line hit? It was, and it was a bold money line hit as well, plus 1,700 on the Coppin State money line against UNC Greensboro. It was, and that, was, that was one of two giant upsets last night, and it was uh, kudos to James Clark for picking that one out, man. That's right, and of course, the leaders board through 12-10, and of course, let's go ahead and look at uh, 11 through 25. This is the most current up-to-date uh, through, uh, through yesterday's action, so you can see it's still early. Uh, and of course, we're gonna get. Uh, we still plenty of time. You don't have to, to panic and go for some of those big money dog hits right now, Chris. Do you? No, uh, we we say that, and you know, it's it's it was another one of those things, right? Like you said yesterday, don't go chasing the money line dogs just because you feel that you, you you feel the need to. If it's a play that makes sense, by all means, go for it. Apparently, it, Coppin State made sense to uh, to James Clark earlier this week, but. Uh, you know, like we said, don't it's it's we're 10, 11 days into a 31 day race. So you guys got plenty of time to make up the make up the, the, the space you are behind the leader. There's there's still a long way to go in this race. Yeah, still a long way to go. We see a leaderboard 21, 24, 25th place at 443. But you can make up those units here in the next 20 days of the month, guys. So be sure to get those picks in as well. That's important. We gave you some recommendations here. Set, set an alarm on your phone, you know, and that will have a ringtone for, 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 to give you a notification that you got to make those picks in. Make it consistent, same time every day, so you don't forget. Um, any other tips there for, for, for the cappers out there, Chris? I think just most, mostly just make sure that uh, you, you make you put your your picks in the correct group because unfortunately if we don't see it and we don't see that it's in the wrong group you know we're we're going to grade it that you didn't get your picks in and we won't be able to see it so make sure they're in the right group just because this boy I was talking to Rod about this off the air you know if you put your picks in the wrong group well that kind of looks like okay well if you win the contest are you going to put your premium picks in the wrong sport you know what I mean? So that's where it's just like, you guys, it's just, it's just a matter of making sure that you cross your T's, dot your I's, and just make sure that everything's in the right spot and ready for uh, ready for us to, to grade it because it, it helps with efficiency. You know, I've had a few people that have reached out to me and said, you know, I just want to make sure that everything's correct. It helps speed up the process if you give us a lot more to work with. You help us, we help you. All right, guys, advice there from Chris Ruffalo. Uh, be sure to check it out over at the Facebook group, Pig Dogs and Sports Chat Place. If you're new to the show, and it's great just to watch, watch the, watch the, follow those threads out there, and and track the top handicappers uh, so far in this contest. See what they're on. See if they match up with you. A good way way to track the picks is everything there is transparent. The, the plays are inputted on the Facebook group. Uh, pig dogs and the other other contest is sports chat place so we'll have those that those content that contest updated next week we hope to get to the point where every show will have the latest updated uh, scoring here uh, so just bear with us we should have that corrected by next week so every show will be able to re give you the latest up-to-date records at both contests all right uh, guys uh, this concludes our show for tonight and don't forget we're back at it again uh, on the drive through Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time with all our primetime picks. So be sure to tune in. Of course, don't forget the morning show at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. Big college football card. Maybe they'll sprinkle in some college basketball as well with Mitch and company on the morning show. All right, let's bring in the crew from tonight's show. Wave everyone a nice goodbye. Right. And look, we've got we've got uh, Rod Zawacki right below me. He's got his birdcage pick here with Duke Moneyline plus 170 Tony. against Florida State. Tony, sorry, just before we before we sign off, I promised everyone I'd give out that, that premium birdcage from the advent calendar. So for tonight, guys, what you're going to do is you can take Kansas on laying the points against Omaha, Marist plus the points against Canisius, and Creighton laying the points against Nebraska. 
I'm going to cash a birdcage for you guys tonight. All right. Get the birdcage there from Chris Ruffalo that as promised here on the drive through. Okay. We have good night to everyone. Have a good night. And we'll talk with you guys Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern time.